Welcome to Reagan and Friends, a podcast series hosted by the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute. Each month, we will share some behind the scenes moments and stories of President Reagan with some of his more famous friends. Thanks for the greeting, but I know why you're so enthusiastic. You've probably heard about my earlier Hollywood connections and think I might be able to introduce you to Tom Cruise or Michael J. Fox. Ronald Reagan had many Hollywood connections and many Hollywood friends. And one of those friends was Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone was born Michael Sylvester Gardenzio Stallone in 1946. He was a struggling actor in New York for a handful of years before moving to Hollywood in 1974. In 1976, he wrote and starred in the first Rocky movie, a film that introduced us to Rocky Balboa, an underdog boxer that fights numerous brutal opponents while attempting to win the World Heavyweight Championship. In 1977, he became the third actor in cinema to be nominated for two Academy Awards, one for Best Original Screenplay and one for Best Actor. The original Rocky movies spawned eight sequels, Rocky II in 1979, Rocky III in 1982, Rocky IV in 1985, Rocky V in 1990, Rocky Balboa in 2006, Creed in 2015, Creed II in 2018, and Creed III, which comes out in 2022. Sylvester Stallone was the recipient of a Best Supporting Actor Golden Globe Award in 2016 for his work in Creed. His work in Creed also garnered him his third Oscar nomination, the first coming from the same role 40 years prior. Between 1981 and 1989, President and Mrs. Reagan enjoyed over 300 movie nights. Some watched at the White House and some watched at Camp David. Those movies included Rocky III in 1982 and Rocky IV in 1986, both while visiting Camp David. According to Mark Weinberg's book, Movie Nights with the Reagans, a memoir, just after Rocky IV came out, Sylvester Stallone's office offered to present President Reagan with the gloves and robe worn by Rocky in the film, but the White House declined. In February 1986, President Reagan delivered a radio address to the nation on the federal budget. Just prior to going on air, he had a brief conversation with one of his staff members about the Rocky movies, and it was caught on microphone. It's a very happy ending. He beats the Russians. <laughs> is some of the greatest fight stuff I've ever seen filmed. So real. From experience, I know how fight scenes are done, but good Lord, I can't help but think they were swatting each other. The physical shape he's in, good Lord, he must spend a a lot of time in the gym. He is, he looks like Mr. America with the muscles and everything, so did the guy they had playing the Russian part. From the mid-1980s through to the late 1990s, Stallone would go on to become one of Hollywood's highest paid actors due to a slew of commercially successful action films, including his five Rambo films between 1982 and 2019. He is also the only actor in the history of U.S. cinema to have starred in box office number one films across five consecutive decades. By the way, in a few weeks, a new film opens, Rambo 3. You remember in the first movie, Rambo took over a town. In the second, he single-handedly defeated several communist armies. And now in the third Rambo film, they say he really gets tough. Almost makes me wish I could serve a third term. While president, Ronald Reagan attended three events with Sylvester Stallone. The first was on July 24, 1981, for a party and viewing at the White House for Sylvester Stallone's latest movie, Victory. In Victory, Allied prisoners of wars prepare for a soccer game against the German national team to be played in Nazi-occupied Paris, while the French resistance and British officers are making plans for the team's escape. In the John Huston-directed film, Sylvester Stallone played Captain Robert Hatch. The second was in August 1985, when Sylvester Stallone and his wife, Brigitte Nielsen, attended a state Republican fundraising dinner with Ronald Reagan at the Century City Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles, California. Following the dinner, Sylvester Stallone gifted this framed promotional poster for the movie Rambo with the inscription, To President Reagan, best of life and all the best for the future. And then, on October 8, 1985, Sylvester Stallone and Brigitte Nielsen were guests at the White House State Dinner for Prime Minister Lee of Singapore. Over the years, Sylvester Stallone has proven he is a successful writer, actor, director, and producer. 
On December 7, 2010, Sylvester Stallone was voted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in the non-participant category. That same year, he wrote, directed, and starred in the hugely successful ensemble action film The Expendables, which also starred Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, Terry Crews, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and others. The film opened at almost $35 million, his biggest opening week of his career. In 2018, he formed a film studio named Balboa Productions with Braden Aftergood, where Stallone serves as co-producer for each of their projects. The studio signed a multi-year collaboration deal with Starlight Culture Entertainment to develop projects for film and television. In 2019, they released Rambo Last Blood, which grossed $18.9 million in its opening weekend, the best debut of the franchise. Thank you for watching. Don't forget that when you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll be notified every time new videos and podcasts are added to our site, including our Reagan and Friends, Words to Live By, and Reagan Forum podcasts. And don't forget to follow at Ronald Reagan on Facebook and Twitter, as well as at Reagan Foundation on Instagram and YouTube.